Hello students welcome to Vidhan English classes I am Vidhan Krishna your English teacher today in this session I am going to acquaint you all with a very important lesson from the book Vistas class 12th CBSC the tiger king by Kalki so stay tuned from starting to end and if you like this video kindly subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you get notified whenever I upload a new video. So without wasting any time, let's get started. Dear students, The Tiger King is a story compiled by Kalki which is his pen name. The author's real name is Ramaswamy Iyer Krishnamurti. He was an Indian Tamil writer, journalist, poet, critic and freedom movement activist. He was born on 9th September 1899 and died on 5th December 1954. His writings include over 120 short stories, 10 novellas, 5 novels, 3 historical romances, editorial and hundreds of film and music reviews. He received the Sangeeta Kala Shiksha Mani Award conferred on him by the Indian Fine Art Society in 1953. Dear students, before we go deep into the lesson, let's ponder on the following points. Dear students, do you believe in superstitions? Are astrologers' predictions always real? Is it fair to plunder natural resources which has led to the miserable condition of Mother Earth? Now, let's move into the theme of the lesson. The Tiger King The present lesson is a satire on the conduct of the people in power. The story is about the rulers who carries upon themselves false pride and stubbornness owing to immense power they possess. Another theme is the desire to have power for own sake instead of wanting power to help people. This story also reflects foolishness of ruler class. Kalki through this lesson makes a very earnest plea for the protection of the wildlife, especially tiger. The present lesson is an indirect comment on subjecting innocent animals to the willingness of human being. Now dear students, let's move into the lesson. The Tiger King is written by Kalki, a pseudonym for R. Krishnamurti, a great Tamil writer. This lesson is about the Maharaja of Pratyavandapuram, often known as the Tiger King. When he was born, the royal astrologer had foretold that the child would grow up to be a warrior of warriors, hero of heroes, and champion of champions, but would meet his death one day because he was born under a star which would cause his death. Just then a miracle took place. As the baby Tiger King spoke and said that all those who were born would have to die one day, the baby Tiger King further added that there would be sense in what the astrologer said. Only if he could tell the manner of the, that death, the chief astrologer then said that the prince was born in the hour of the bull. And since the bull and the tiger were enemies, death would come from the tiger. The tiger king grew up to be a strong boy who drank milk of an English cow, was brought up by an English nanny and was tutored by an English man and saw only English films. He was crowned at the age of 20 when he heard the rumor about his impending death. To prove the rumors wrong, 
he set about on a tiger hunt and called the state slaughter when he killed the first tiger the royal slaughter told him that he may kill 99 tigers but would have to be very careful of the 100th tiger thereafter all tiger hunting was banned in the kingdom as the maharaja had set about on achieving his target of 100 tiger killings he ignored state affairs and even forbade a british official who expressed a desire to shoot a tiger to appease the british official and not risk losing his state the tiger king sent 50 diamond rings to the british official wife as a bribe though the lady kept all the rings and the exchequer was left poorer by 3 lakhs the tiger king did not mind within 10 years the tiger king shot 70 tigers and the tiger population had usually dwindled when he hit upon the plan of marrying a princess whose father's state would boast of a substantial tiger population after marriage he continued his spree of killing tigers in his father-in-law's kingdom but here too the tiger population soon declined the maharaja had by now killed 99 tigers and the elusive 100th tiger could not be found in anger officers lost their jobs and land tax of areas was doubled to punish the citizens for not helping the maharaja achieve his goal finally the diwan and his wife brought an old tiger from the people's park in madras and left him in the forest the following day the tiger king shot at the tiger and later dis- and later ordered the tiger to be brought in a grand procession to his capital it was at this time that the hunters realized that the tiger was not dead but had fainted with the shock of the bullet whizzing past so the hunters decided that rather than inform the maharaja about the mishap shoot the tiger themselves thereafter the dead tiger was brought in a procession and a tomb was erected over it a few days later on his son's third birthday the tiger king bought a wooden tiger as a present for his son however the wooden tiger had rough surface and a tiny silver of wood pierced the maharaja's right hand which later became a separating sore the infection spread all over his arm and and the maharaja could not withstand the subsequent surgery and died hope you understood the lesson the tiger king by kalki that's all in this video see you in the next video lecture on any other lesson if you have any question or suggestion do write in the comment section if this video helped you please like and share so that other students can also learn for more such an educational video do subscribe my channel vidhan english classes thank you for watching